The last thing I'm going to show you is called Story Engine. Story Engine is the it gives you the ability to basically basically create a story completely from scratch. This is the engine. First, we have the brain dump. The brain dump is a way for you to just take all of your ideas and completely just get them out of your head. And then it, it just, just like that outline that I had and it created around this thing, that brain dump is there for this. Then you've got what genre you're in. And you say something like um, sci-fi. And uh, sometimes the best way to do that is sci-fi. Let's call it sci-fi action. And that way it gives it a kind of a cue of what it's going to like be writing. Then the style. I want... Uh, I want lush prose with 1950s sensibilities. That way, hopefully, it will write something like Arthur C. Clarke or um, something like that. And then I go over here. Oops. There we go. To the synopsis. And the synopsis will write out whatever that brain dump that you put out there. You hit generate and the brain dump and the style and the genre all culminate into the synopsis. And then the synopsis becomes this thing that kind of creates characters and stuff like that. And you got, and it'll create up to 800 words. Here's the kicker though. You can do it yourself. You can create the synopsis yourself. You can create the brain dump. And that way you can have this kind of amalgamous sort of bit of information, like all of the things that you think should be important in the brain dump. Then the synopsis is the way the story actually unfolds in your mind. And then you put that entire thing, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then it takes the synopsis. You could write all of that. You could write all of that. And it takes the synopsis, and then it creates your characters from the synopsis. It usually will only create about, uh, I'll call it five or six characters for a novel. You might have to do some heavy lifting yourself, you know. My teacher, that's the one on pseudo right. I'm going to put her name again right in the bottom here. She says, don't be a T-Rex. So don't be a T-Rex. You hear me? Don't be a T-Rex. That's just don't do it. Put your arms out or take your voice and hit that. But take your arms out and hit that control button twice. on. If you're a Mac, I don't know how you do dictation on a uh, Windows PC. But if you dictate into your, uh, if you get this, uh, dictated or written in here, you can create all the characters you want, including a little blurb about various characters to fill out the story. You just say various characters and then it, it should give a lot of extra filler in there. And then it takes all of that information, all of the characters, everything, and it it takes all of that and then pushes all of that over into an outline. And then that outline is pretty much how the story is going to unfold. The one that you created, the one that you made from beginning to end, that was your idea, that story. That story unfolds in this outline. And this outline is laid out a specific way so that the AI knows how to proceed, what it's going to work on at that moment. Act one, introduction, is not as much important as the act one is. Act one is the thing that denotes what you are supposed to be working on. Chapter one 
is very important. It is the place where everything is siloed. And what I mean by siloed is I mean actually encompassing a little encasing like a bottle. Say your chapter's just sitting in this bottle, right? And you can do all kinds of things to your chapter in this bottle and it will not affect the chapter two and it will not affect chapter, whatever the chapter is before that or whatever the chapter is after that. It's a very, very efficient way to kind of get your story logically put forth for the AI to keep, uh, keep track of. Remember, it's using all of the information, all of the information from here back. All of that, the brain dump, the genre, the style, the synopsis, all of that, the characters, all of that, and creating a complete cloth sort of outline for you. And then you can take each one of those chapters and it will put out beats for you, very, very specific beats. Let's just talk about beats real quick. All right, so uh, when you're watching a, something on stage, if you're, watch, if you're sitting there in this audience and you're watching something on stage or you're watching a movie, they had to block it out. And in blocking it out, you have to know what you're doing and then what's the next thing you're doing. And then you're following a script. And that's what you're doing here is you've already given it the script all of the information behind the scenes, all of the style and all how you do everything. Then it takes all of that information and it creates beats that it thinks you want for that first scene in accordance to the way that the actual thing is unfolding, the, the journey of it. You are in charge. You are the person who is important. You have the brain. It does not. It will write beautiful things for you, but you got to tell it what it's doing. And there's a couple of rules like mind the gap and stuff like that. But we will talk about those at a later date. That right there is one of the most transformative programs I have ever, ever worked with. And I hope to write a whole lot of books. There's this thing called 20 books to 50K. Look it up. That's my motto is that I'd like to write 60 books to 150K so that I can live on that as my retirement money for the rest of my life <laughs> or the rest of my wife's life or the rest of my nephew's life when we leave all of that stuff to them and they have an estate to, you know, sell to Marvel or something like that. <laughs> anyway, my name's Ekello Harrod. And this has been the Future Fiction Factory. Please like, subscribe, and hit that like, uh, hit that notification bell so that you cannot miss everything that I'm going to be putting out here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave this pretty raw. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to put it up. And I'm going to add another, uh, I'm going to put a, I'm going to get a, a thumbnail that I'm going to put together for it, but I'm putting this sucker up raw, raw. and it's going to be a big, huge pseudo right sort of introduction. My, and that's it. <laughs> I, I, you know, all I have to say is that I am so excited for what we are about to embark upon. This journey of artificial intelligence and our ability to create jamming into one complete thing is going to cause an explosion of content and not even bad content, good content. And it'll help people because people will start getting into pseudo right and going, why are they doing that? And you know what they'll do? They'll buy people's books and they'll figure out all kinds of cool things and our economy will swell because we are all doing the things we want and giving people the stuff they want. That's all. That's all we are, our creators, creating things in a futuristic sort of way. And I'm just so excited because, frankly, the future's now. My name's Ikello Harrod. I'll see you soon.
in the next video. Thanks.